Hi right, guys, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, there's been a couple changes. It's been like the weekend again. Uh, I think I just uploaded like me scaling up my nuclear reactor. So we're almost caught up. It's we're about like four episodes behind or something. But anyways, uh, I'll let you know where we sit right now. So uh, I spent a bit of time on the weekend, uh, basically finalizing some of the stuff for my factory. So um, some of the boring stuff uh, that you guys don't want to. I, I mean, I don't want to show, because it would literally be like, dude, like, again, I, I think it was like, I'm at 45, this is, dude, six hours, like, five hours or something. As I said, I spent, like, a bit of time on Friday, a bit of time on Saturday, a bit of time on Sunday, just in the evening, uh, doing this shit, so. Uh, I, I, it's a long game, it's a long game, but it's, it's kind of fun. Uh, so, the first thing I did was, um, Iron now has four stops here. Um, all these are iron furnaces. They all come up here. Um, right now, that's not plugged in. I figured I would balance and do all kind of fun stuff for you later. So that's the first thing. Second thing is... Uh, <clears throat> oh, well, actually, I can turn off the train stops because I'm looking at that. Uh, and this too. Alright, second thing is... this is uh, So I actually labeled it for myself here. So to show you later so I would remember. I have new copper lines. Uh, there's a lot of copper coming in. The same amount of, uh, as iron, actually. So, this is actually more than I ever made in my other death world. So, we'll see how that works out. So, that's, that's how it goes here. Uh, once again, not using it yet, because I figured I'd wait for you guys. But yeah, um, it means I did have to change where the science is. So, um, I, I, I kind of moved it up here. Uh, hopefully that's, um, all good. Well, I mean, I don't know why you'd complain, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, this is all that essentially happens. I'm thinking of maybe making this a bit different than this, though. Yeah, I can, I can change this up, actually, maybe. We can maybe, we can maybe edit this a bit, but, but this is a little bit later. Because we're going to need to change it. Alright. Um. Oh yeah, so I've added logistics networks everywhere now. Uh, except for this line here. This is the new... Uh, this is the new line here. So I made a stop for this iron ore patch. A bit of copper here. Uh, and it has a couple stops here, and also there's obviously a stop for the, uh, roboport as well, so I can get its resources. So this is nice. And from being here, I, I also expanded my, my vision a bit. So there's a uh, uranium here, more oil here, almost as much as up here. Uh, actually no, this one had more, because I've already tapped into this one. So... Uh, definitely not short on oil anymore. Uh, a night, a very nice 12 million co uh, iron ore patch. So if I need to tap into that later, I can. 2.5 million and 4.8 million iron ore right there. So that's good. Uh, uranium hasn't really changed. Um, I, I mean, the, the uranium uh, chests are actually really getting full. It actually backed up, so actually I had to add more. So there's more chests now involved with uh, this uranium. But we have now... 673 uh, uranium 235 so we got a nice start for doing some uh, Corvax enrichment whenever we get to that point uh, if we ever get to that point because I don't even know if I want to do that after that so uh, the next thing is uh, new stone furnaces so like I said before uh, this 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 line up here was originally meant to take in things that were like rare and not not really commonly used by me it's just misfits for the trans because to be perfectly fair, uh, this is why I kind of moved the copper. I was originally going to have this just be the copper and the iron mixed line, but then I forgot how much Death World Marathon requires you to just have everything, right? Um, so, realistically, you don't want... Like, since there's only one rep that these trains can take, uh, you don't really want them to, like, randomly decide to, you know, like... Like, oh, there's a copper here, now it has to wait for the iron train. You cause kind of holdups like that. And that's this is how I kind of fix my holdups. The other kind of maybe not best design, design decision was to have one a one-way track all around the base. But then again, it's not that bad. I mean, it's it's still pretty good. At, at least for this scale of base, I think it's fine. Um, I think we're good with that. So that's why we did the, the two different ones. But yeah, so I, I didn't want to mix any of these lines. Um, so that's why the stone is now up here, comes up there, and goes in. And also we have a cement uh, making area, which I think I'll maybe place around here. I don't know. I don't have to, but I, I kind of thought about it. Oh yeah. So someone in one of the episodes where I was making the nuclear things said I didn't actually hook up the one of these heat pipes. I hooked it up now. Um, so I think they're all hooked in now. It, that didn't really make a difference, though. Um, 
I mean, I wasn't using the maximum amount of power, but yeah, it, it for efficiency's sake, I should have it all plugged in, obviously. Um, so our power actually sits at 200 megawatts consistently uh, until uh, until like the lasers start firing and it becomes 480. So that's kind of how that works right now. Um, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. Um, and if I put in these new uh, assembly machines, it's gonna knock up my power again. But that's that's still good. So. Oh yeah, the wall's larger here now. Uh, there's like a giant forest here for some reason, but yeah, I made the wall larger there. Um, and not, not much else uh, to this place. It just we kind of just tapped into it, and we made robo ports, and that's kind of just all we did. Um, so this stone is starting to run out right here. Uh, you can tell that there's actually not much iron ore. Sorry, it's not stone; it's iron ore. It's not much left in there. Um, so this stop, I actually used to have two trains. I diverted it to just one. So there's just one train that's going to be going back and forth trying to fill it up. Um, and the train that was existing there before, I rerouted to some other stop. So as of right now, every single stop has at least, usually two trains. I think this one only has one. Because <clears throat> this one was so tiny. Yeah, that one only has one. These ones have, I think, two trains. And eventually the one that's, that, that is going to this one will just be diverted to up here. So we, we divert things, and luckily now we have the nice um, auto repair bots, so you can see that they're doing their thing. So we're, we're Gucci. So I have essentially taken care of most of the boring stuff. Um, coal is at 558, so eventually we'll have to also tap into some coal at some point. <clears throat> Sorry. So we've done all the boring stuff. Um, as of this moment, I think that all we really have to do is now scale up everything. Um, so we have the resources. Uh, and so the plan now is we're going to rehook some of these things up and we're going to get more green, uh, green chips. Because, uh, I mean, there's a couple problem problematic areas. Like, mostly like this stuff right here. Like, the fuck is this going on? I don't know. So I'm going to basically do a few things here. So the very first thing I'm going to do, um, we need blue belts out the ass, actually. So, um, the thing about scaling up to production science, so let me re reiterate again. What, uh, sorry, not production science, um, high-tech science. Let me reiterate again what the problem is here. So we require one battery, we have plenty of batteries, we require one speed module. As you can see, the line is now completely full of that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's fine. And I all just finished. Oh yeah, research. I did a bunch of research. I forgot. So I got to productivity module threes. I forgot if I did that last time. I did the mining research. I, I tried to do repeatable researches. I think I did one of the inserter capacity bonuses. And I got the mining research up to 8%. And uh, we'll see what the bon net bonus with that is soon. Uh, let's see what, it, what else is here. I don't think there's anything else that's really interesting. Uh, oh yeah, I did the accumulator research, although I don't use accumulators, so, um, yeah, it's somewhere here. Yeah, okay, this is not in order at all. Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything that was notable, but I don't think there was anything that was notable that I did. Uh, we got modular armor. Uh, I think that's, yeah, I think, I think we didn't really do much interesting stuff here. I was just doing repeatable researches and, and they weren't even that good of, oh yeah, I did the braking speed for the trains. Cause if you actually look now, the train braking speed is now up to production science and eventually it goes up to like this one. But I mean, I could do more of it. I don't know, but I'd rather get some of this other stuff out of the way. Like, you know what? Like this, um, military three might as well. Um, I mean, it gives us a combat shotgun, which I mean, uh, to be fair, we're never going to use. So we're going to probably just get the legs and the, the military science and some stuff out of the way. All right. So once again, like blue science, is constantly a problem. Like it's because these electric mining drills never use what they're supposed to. So we're going to fix that. Uh, this episode, definitely this episode. Um, and this is just kind of why, like, I fucking hate blue science so much. Um, so let's go bring a couple of these things together. All right, so we're gonna get a bunch of blue belts. So uh, we're gonna let the factory take in all the other stuff. So we're gonna we're still gonna balance the belt, um, and I'm not sure how else we're gonna do anything here. 
but I'm gonna change the way some of this works because um, some like I kind of made this system because blue belts weren't exactly in abundance before. But I can definitely tell you like these gears require two blue belts. Um, I, I'm not sure about the chips. The chips are gonna have to change because uh, sorry, I was t I was talking again about the way high tech science works and like oh, let me let me just iterate for you again. Sorry, I was I was on that and then I didn't finish my thought. So three processing units. By the way, every processing unit requires. 20 electronic chips, uh, 2 advanced circuits, and 10 sulfuric acid. Uh, sulfuric acid is just whatever. But the main thing is, um, this is why you see me getting so much copper. Because 20 electronic circuits is the equivalent of 128 copper, basically. Uh, that's, that's with the advanced circuits, too. So, that's a lot of fucking copper. Considering this entire time, we've barely been do like using copper. Um, so, that's why I have so much of it. Because we need to get a couple more red chips. Uh, we need to extend this... I don't know if I want to just extend this green chip line, but like I can guarantee you we're going to need another green chip line. So that's what that needs. Uh, so I just had the wiki open on my other page. So that's a lot of fucking copper. <laughs> like, holy shit. Now, uh, the rest of it... Uh, so, and then when you when you cue into the fact that... Uh, so Blue Science requires uh, one battery, three processing units. So three processing units is equivalent to like... What is it? Like fucking like 400-ish copper? just from the processing units. Then there's the speed modules, uh, which is like five red chips, uh, and then like five green chips, which is some copper there too. It requires 30 copper cables, which is another 15 copper on top of that. Yeah, it's several hundred things of copper for each uh, high-tech science pack. So high-tech science packs is essentially the game's check for, hey, did you fucking, uh, did you fucking do your, uh, did you scale up your copper yet? Oh, did you, son? You know, that's, that's what the game's saying, and so that's what we're going to do. So here's what we're going to do now. Uh, let's just remove most of this. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Balancers. Where's the balancer book? Yeah, there you go. Good enough. You guys are fuckers. Alright. This is our new line here. Actually, why am I walking with it like this? Uh, I, I, I don't really want it to do any of this now. Okay, these two are fine. These two can go up however they please. Uh, this one is just gonna, I guess, take one blue belt. I guess. I haven't quite decided this one yet, but that's probably the best way of doing it. The real problem is where to take the green chips in from, because I don't fucking know. Uh, well, like, more like, okay, so by the way, so the reason we use uh, balancers, uh, mostly because if one of these things isn't actually making what it's supposed to, then we can, we have a place to essentially grab it from, kind of thing, so that's kind of how it works. Uh, we, if one of the, if one of those machines isn't making what it's supposed to, so, uh, we can remove now a lot of this garbage now. Now, I'm not sure how we're gonna do everything here, but, uh, I'll figure it out, I guess. I'm just hoping that, like, this will work out. That's why I probably should have actually more than one output from this, because actually, because, uh, I, I probably should make it into a five balancer, because the reason for that is I, I, uh, these things require some copper, uh, some iron as well, so I'm not sure how to make it have the copper it needs other than to, to balance it. Um, I'm hoping it just works out, but I, I don't know how the mechanics work sometimes. Especially with all these updates. Alright, so... Um, uh, oh, it's that slow because of uh, lack of blue splitter. So, uh, I'm gonna make that actually into a 5 splitter, I think. But the thing is, it also causes things like... Oh, that's why. Alright, there, I left a red belt there, alright. 
I was about to say, I, I think it causes issues. So the thing, the reason why I want to make it into a, a bigger splitter is because I, I want to make it so that it divides to several places in the factory. Maybe I should make it into a six splitter. I don't know. Maybe something like this one. Alright, let me remove these for now. Because when you when you split it, I like I I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to use the splitters for. I'm, I'm, I, well, they they're meant to just sorry the the balancers. I, that's why I think you're meant to use them for. I don't know, man. I, I never use these usually. Um, all right, now there's two more lines that I can potentially eat off of. All right, uh, is that a problem? See, and this is this is also one of the issues. Is what the fuck is this? So here you can see it's it's sort of slowed down, but when it comes out, it's actually not the same deal. It doesn't know how to properly properly balance it. So you know what? Fuck it. This game's weird. Oh god. Oh god. What have I done? Disaster. All right. Just fucking put it put it in these chests here. I don't have enough fucking space for all these iron plates. Oh fuck, I don't even know how to remove these. Alright, you know what, fuck it, just just do your thing. Fuck, I don't even know how to remove- Okay, whatever, I have the book in my hand now. I mean, we, we, never, we can never replace that. There we go, it worked out. Alright, we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to figure something out that's different than this, but whatever. And I still have a shit ton of iron plates. We need to get rid of these iron plates, actually. The easiest way is just to put them inside. That's on these chests, though. Or whatever because we're, we're not actually using a hundred percent of it like I actually I, I really don't know how to divide this stuff I really fucking don't because like the gears don't actually need like their own fucking dedicated line But like maybe just keep taking off the line and then like yeah, you know what actually that's a that's a good idea All right, so instead of just diverting it, maybe I'll have a priority splitter or something that priority splits back into this one here That's how we're gonna do it. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do it. I, I have a plan. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna go output priority to the left, and this one's gonna be also a thing. Output priority to the left. Actually, now. What the fuck? Why are you? Why yellow? Um, because maybe I set it to yellow. I don't know. Okay, and output priority to the left, and then there's another line coming over here, but it's actually utilizing all of it. How the fuck did that happen? Well, at least this is going kind of. Yeah, it kind of is going, isn't it? So I have a red belt full of stuff, but like it's most of it's getting diverted into shit like this. So what what is the thing that actually doesn't need it right now? I guess it's the steel. Because I, I, I like it to basically give the excess to the middle line. That's 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 the plan. Um, so we can actually we can actually still do that. There's actually nothing wrong with that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make another splitter right here. Figuring out the dynamics of this stuff is ridiculous. So but luckily we have I'll, we got priority splitters now. So there you go, now it's putting the excess into here. So I guess this is the way you're supposed to do it in this new update. Um, now I would like to have it kind of combine up here. So maybe we'll do something like this. Yeah, these go for a very, uh, very long distance, by the way. So we'll do something like this. There you go. So this this way we kind of ensure that it, it kind of makes it to the factory and we potentially have a second line now. Potentially. It's only if the rest of it doesn't use it, which is still a pretty good way of doing things. Okay. Uh, so um, hopefully this isn't required for that much. Uh, it probably is, but you know, whatever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have another split like right here. Get rid of some of this. And we're gonna send this up. 
so we have another we have another red belt of, of uh, iron, which is uh, kind of on purpose because um, I I just kind of need it. Oops. Now I know some people are like, oh, you you you're splitting your line with like a bunch of underground belts inside the middle of your bus. I mean that's how I do it. I mean I don't really care to be honest because usually it just works out anyways. I mean I, fine it it kind of like. It's not the best in terms of like, you know, oh boy, I can see the world kind of thing. I don't know, man. Alright, here's what we're going to do. So this could actually become uh, a, a blue splitter, actually. We could have two blue, blue splitters here. Now, as of right now, there's no more issues with um, with the, this iron line. So we're actually utilizing 100% of the iron... Uh, ish, and then we have two lines coming down. We could have made it a blue belt going down, by the way, but I mean, I don't, I don't really care. I'm just gonna have a red belt going down. I have a lot of red belts. So there you go. It's actually, this is actually working beautifully now. So all the excess is actually being redirected into other parts of the uh, factory, which is uh, what we wanted. Okay, that's all done. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to repeat the same process except for the copper. Uh, so as you can see, I, I started on something down here. Um, and I apparently also have some copper plates for me. So, as I said, we, we bounce it down here, we bounce the lines, and then we, we take it up, and then we divide it accordingly. So, it's uh, pretty simple stuff. Alright. Um, so, I think the way this is going to work is going to be very easy. So, the very first thing we're going to do... So, we're not even using most of these lines. Like, uh, like only one of these lines is actually getting used. It's actually very sad. Saddest story I've ever seen. So we're gonna just uh, take all this, repeat the exact same process with the book. The magical Mike Lad's big book of uh, a belt, the BBB or something. All right. So as you can see now, these are kind of balanced now. Uh, and I know I made a splitter here, but we're gonna now divert this differently. Um, I guess I decided to make this into... Actually, no. It should, it should not be like that. You're the one who should become... Because there's going to be more coming through this. Alright. Not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Whoops. Uh... What is this belt? Oh, this is, uh... This is the... Fucking... What the fuck is this? Oh, this is how I split it before, I guess. That's weird. I'm a weird individual. But nothing's really wrong with this at the moment. We don't have to change anything about this, but... Oh, well, we, there is something we are going to change. So, you see how it's like diverting it to the copper lines here? We're actually going to reverse that. Um, we're going to make it that a bit different. So... Copper is used in uh, a couple things coming up right now. So uh, it's used in red chips a little bit. Uh, how much is required? Like it's just like like one one copper thing for every three of these uh, circuits. So I mean we don't have to really do anything about that. Um, but it's used a lot in the microchips. Like here, so like eight x copper cable for six seconds for a red circuit. Okay. Um, this doesn't even need any copper directly. Electronic, electronic circuits is what is the copper hog in this game. Uh, first off, I'm actually going to redirect this petroleum, actually. Yeah, I actually don't like where, how this is going. We're uh, not pleased with, with this petroleum. Alright. Sorry, I am diverting my attention to this. Great. Um, fuck. We lost. Maybe we should go over here somewhere with this. Or maybe the steel should not be, like, randomly going into the bus here. Neither should... The, well, actually, the coal is there for a reason, actually, because it is actually used... Uh, 
Uh, so I, I randomly I have the belt I have it on a red belt the, the the steel but then I don't actually use it all the way. All right, uh, military three finished, uh, and now we can go on to exoskeletons, which requires processing units. But uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm just doing all these researches now. This this guy's working out pretty well. All right, so that's pretty good. Still trying to divert this uh, up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, not too happy about this uh, call. Okay, hopefully that uh, diverts accordingly. Okay, that, that, that looks okay. Uh, do something like this. I mean, we would like to ultimately have it make some more red circuits, but I think I think the setup we have here is perfectly fine for that. We have one green chip line, one of them goes up, one of them goes down. It's That's fine with me. Uh, we're probably going to need some more coming down the line eventually. As long as this supports the... Uh, yeah, this is like, I think, the very first time we've ever seen it making blue science like 100%. Um, I, I, actually, we'll, we'll check it out to see if there's any other... Uh, limits to the rate of which it's making uh, blue science. I mean, we could give it some stack inserters. We could do that instead. It just, it requires so much. It's a hungry mistress, like I always say. There you go. So now it's using everything it needs to. Fortunately now, like, electronic circuits, but you see, it just, it puts them up pretty much immediately. So this thing never stops. Alright. So, I'm going to iterate one more thing, actually, so, about um, production modules. So, remember when I said they could be used in intermediate uh, products? <coughs> Sorry, I have something in my throat, I guess. So, when um, so when I say intermediate products, I looked up what that exactly means because I was kind of confused about it. So, it's basically something that is used in a recipe for something else, A, and B cannot be placed. Or C, labs. Uh, labs, labs work also as well. Um, they actually, they, it, they explicitly say that you're allowed to use it on, in labs. So, that's that works. So, I can't do it on turrets. I can't do it on assembly machines. Um, but, like, it, it can't be placed on the ground. So, I can use it in, like, lubricant, for example. I can use it on that. I can't use it on pipes because those can be placed on the ground. I can use it in engines, which I, I think I did actually do at one point. Because engines can't be placed on the ground. They're not a placeable object. And, you know, it's just whatever. Um, so those aren't, that's just how that works. So that's important. All right, so now, now it's time. It's time, lads, to scale us up. Uh, we've had, we've had a good run, but uh, we need to scale. All right, so let's get rid of this. So we need a couple things. Just a few things. Uh, and they're not, they're not pretty things. Actually, I should just get the bots to help me out with this. So it should still be getting its, uh, petroleum. I hope. Yeah, it looks like it is. I can leave this the way it is. That's fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm probably gonna put the, uh, I'm probably gonna put the component construction on this side. Uh, so that's pretty simple stuff. The thing that we need is we need a metric fuck ton of green chips. So we still need green chips for the rest of our factory. So this is like perfectly fine the way it is. In fact, like we want to use utilize some of this copper. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of these copper lines. I'm gonna divert it to the side here, and then uh, and, and then I'll like do whatever with that. So I don't think we're gonna need much more steel than this. Um, if if so, if we do, then I'll just make another steel line right there. We're gonna do something like this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't give it so much space. So why is there like a bell right there? All right, exoskeleton completed. Now we can work on battery MK2.
All right, we're not we're not making any of that yet. Don't worry. Don't have to be confused. I'm not too sure of how to handle this, but I think I kind of have an idea of how to handle this. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to reverse the direction that this is going in, uh, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna red belt it. So for just temporarily, we're gonna just kill our factory. Fortunately, I have no space to put these things into. Uh, well, I can just kind of feed it the copper plates I do have. So, as you can see, we don't actually need any of this crap anymore. Um, perfectly fine. Uh, it just needs to go up to basic about here. Because we're going to be making so much of this shit that we actually don't need... It, it doesn't need to have its own line. Like, it's just how this works now. So, yeah, that's kind of how this is going to work now. Because, like, there's just so much copper usage that I might as well have it coming in from the bottom. That's my plan. Alright, so we're going to do something like that. Oh yeah, and we can also now... Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. We have Assembly Machine 3, so uh, we're going to just upgrade all of these, actually, these suckers. So I don't know how many we're going to need, but this will make green chips much faster. Uh, Red chips much, much faster. In fact, I probably didn't even need, need to do the change I just did, but yeah. Uh, I forgot we're going to be actually doing this now. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I, I actually saved this. I didn't actually upgrade anything yet. Alright, well, whatever. It works out. Alright, so we do that. Uh, we get our handy dandy. So, the I don't think we really need uh, any fast iron like that. I think, th I think the way I have it working is fine. So we're going to do this. Uh, maybe like copy and paste it two more times. What are we missing? Okay, we're gonna need some more assembly machines. Luckily, we do have plenty of these assembly machine too, so we can just plug that into our system there. All right, you fuckers need to come with me. Oh my god, you guys are dumb, or I'm dumb. Come with me. All right. So this is gonna upgrade our our uh, red chip production slightly. Um, that's gonna be nice. Uh, what else do I need? I think I need more inserters. I mean, you need a little bit of everything, but you know. Uh, all right. So first off, let's go to our fabulous machine here. Put in all of these, and I'm gonna just make. I'm just gonna take all 150 of these. There's no reason for me not to. Uh, and I don't think I need much else here. Oh uh, well, yeah, I was gonna take the inserters though. I'll take the blue ones too. Cannot insert. Player's inventory is full. Thank you. Just offload this coal somewhere. Like into the grenades. It's always the coal or, or something weird. Actually, I have robo ports with me. I don't need that for a while. I was making them up here. Like, I just have some random items that I, I don't really want, so... And they always take up a crap ton of space. Alright, there you go. Oh, I also have like a shit ton of construction bots. Maybe I should uh, do something about that. Uh, what 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 is primarily needed down there for these things? Uh, well, we're gonna apparently I copied and pasted with the old electric poles, so that's not good. That also might explain why there's a problem there. But whatever. Let's just get rid of some of these construction bots. I picked them up by accident. Having a stack of fifty should be enough. There you go. Do that. Uh, I forgot we have to also upgrade the poles, which also means I have to update my blueprint with the poles. Here's what we're going to do. I have, a, I have the perfect idea. I'm going to show you something a little cool with this. So de deconstruction uh, planner, you set a blacklist. You set these stupid poles. Okay, that, that wasn't it. It's a whitelist. There you go. Get rid of all these poles. How you remove them from your factory.
Fortunately, it's depowered everything, but yeah. Uh, so we just want it to be a tileable version of this. Fuck, why is it everything still depowered? I guess it was over up here then. There you go. That works out. It's a magical, magical entity. Uh, and then when I put, I put them over here. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so we, once again, then we take, uh... We make a new blueprint out of this, and then we, uh, place it again. Uh, fuck. We can't actually do that, because... I actually, that's the ending of that, that system, so we can't actually do that. We would be very sad if we actually took that one. Alright, here we go. Because the ending doesn't isn't actually the repeatable part. Alright. Just take that. There you go. Wait, what's, what's your problem here? Oh. Uh, I, uh, I may not have made it exa exactly uh, copy and pasteable um, in that area. Uh, let's try it here. Fuck, I really didn't, did I? Also, why is this not connected? What the fuck? Alright, apparently, apparently I really suck at this. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. Alright. Alright, let's, um... Let's try this again. From the bottom this time. Alright. And we just simply take it up here, except I'm on a belt which is constantly moving me, making it extremely difficult. Alright. That looks that looks pretty not bad. I, I don't know why I don't have a underground belt for that. How many are we missing? Two more sets, so I'll just I'll, I'll just get those now. Even though I, I was just up there, uh, and I could have gotten them. Uh, we're gonna just do this. Alright, so... Technically two of these things can be diverted for that, which actually I should have done. Uh, but, yeah, because I did red belt all this, but, you know, I think this is going to be fine. Fuck it. Uh, okay, we need one of these splitters. I haven't quite decided how this is all going to work. That's the thing. I guess it's safer to red belt things than it is not to. Okay, this is, I think, a bit of an issue, though. Because we don't want it to contaminate the line here. Oh. So I don't know if we need to bring more up here. That's the thing. The thing is, now this makes uh, chips extremely quickly. So hopefully I'll just kind of get backed up and then and then I'll be fine. Otherwise I'm gonna have to bring another line of copper up here. How many lines of copper do I have, anyways? I have four more. And actually, you know, bring bring another half line actually wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever done. When I say half line, you're like, what the fuck? Well, I like it's just a regular line except half of the amount. Yeah, but you can see how much we're using in terms of this <laughs> in terms of this resource, man. Uh, it's a lot. But it is, it does appear to actually be making it to the end, but not over there. So uh, that's that's an easy easy fix. All right, so here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna make this guy go that way. And when I said half line, it's also my favorite game, Half Line, Half Line Two. We're just gonna do this. We got a red belt. We just do this, I think. I was hoping that I would finish up there, but maybe we just need the second red belt. Does it actually make it? Uh, yeah, all the copper does make it to the end. So if I had a second red belt, actually, that would be... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do that. I'll have to, I'll have to figure it out later for how to deal with components properly, but yeah. Alright. And I, I certainly hope I won't need that much copper, but we're going to have to see, won't we? 
Maybe it's just better if I just make all my green chips in one place. I was going to have like two separate lines originally. Um, and so now I'm starting to think that's not a good idea. Alright, so let's do something like this. Alright, so now this is two red belts going into a bunch of chips here. And I think this is now going to be too much. Holy fucking shit, that's a lot of red chips, or green chips. That is a lot of green chips. How many, how many, how many fucking lines do I have of this stuff? Four in total. Alright. It's still not to say that anything's necessarily wrong with this, but it's not the way I was kind of planning it out in my head, I, I won't lie. Especially because th these lines are now, like, going to be a little bit on the oversaturated side. Maybe what, maybe what I should do is when they get to the end, they should feed into this machine, but then again, yeah. The thing is, we also need to have uh, a single red line of copper coming down the center. Um, it's this is what's needed because that's copper cables is now required for the other goodness. So, um, yeah. But, anyways, I have a lot of assembly machine threes. So, what I'm actually going to do right now, since we're near the end of this, I basically have now upgraded the the green chip line. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy with that upgrade. But I think it's all the only upgrade we got. So I'm gonna spend a couple minutes just um, uh, upgrading everything I can here to some of machine threes. Every single, every single, every single thing in the factory. I mean, uh, generally speaking, this makes less pollution. At you know, it, uh, well, it, it's faster crafting as well. But it makes less pollution. I'm trying to look at it. Yeah, less pollution. I think. Well, yeah. Let's just let's just put the two down. These do the exact same thing. So pollution 1.8, opposed to uh, 2.4, uh, but the energy consumption is 60 kilowatts higher. And But the, the main thing is that its crafting speed is much higher. So uh, particularly in places where we make science machines, um, these are very good. Because this, this is actually the next best upgrade for our science machines. And it really appears to me like we're actually not getting enough miners here. And it was because green chips stopped at some point. And green chips are still a problem. Where is it even being diverted to? It, it's so weird. I, I extend the fucking chip line like a huge amount. There's a huge amount more chips around now. And um, it's still never making it to the fucking end here. Go figure, this is just my luck. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna keep these going. We don't actually need these to go. Oh, okay, you can go right here. There you go. How many more do we have? Look, 63 more. So it's it's coming along. I mean, I think it's also because uh, this is such a hog of resources too. That's, that's probably the issue. Uh, but yeah, everything in the factory needs to be upgraded. Um, I think this is the only place to actually use assembly machines at this point. Well, there's one right here, but fuck. It, it, I mean, not everything needs to be upgraded, let's, let's be fair. But, you know, it is it is a rather nice uh, upgrade, so. Anyways, we're going to just finish this up, and then uh, after the break, uh, we will do components into blue science. Whoop-de-fucking-do. Stay tuned for that. Uh, see you soon. <laughs>